WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Let's take a look where everything ended up today. We have the ES Mini up about 0.8%, trading at 48.08 today. The Russell trading at 19.35, about 0.5352%. The NQs trading just about 17,097, up about 1.35%. Dow futures up about uh, half a percentage point. Gold, a little bit of okay movement uh, upwards in gold, at least today. Uh, looking at uh, 2024 on the contract there. Silver contract trading at 2287, up almost a percent. Uh, we got copper trading at 375. Crude oil, let's talk a little bit about that. I see it moving up a little bit, uh, trading up about 2% at 7389. It is significantly cold. There are some supply shortages coming out from OPEC and obviously uh, OPEC Plus with Russia having some level of embargo there. And then uh, one of the things I didn't really know that I kind of learned recently was that cold weather uh, can actually result in, in, in spills, which is very strange. So let's look a lot about that and let's see why that is. Talking about North Dakota, you had 60 reports over the past week of spills. It's basically hard to get people out there to try to maintain the lines and uh, this causes uh, essentially a slowdown in production. Public health isn't an issue. Let's get the numbers on that. As of Wednesday morning, the state's output was estimated to be down 650,000 to 700,000 barrels of oil per day and down about 1.7, 1.9 billion cubic feet of gas. Uh, by comparison, the state produced an average of 1.24 million barrels of oil per day and about 3.4 billion cubic feet of gas. Okay, that's somewhat significant when you're looking at about 13.1 billion, I think, total output from the U.S., uh, you know, in excuse me, 13.3, I think 13.1 was from 2020 uh, at, at our height there. So we're producing a lot more, and this is going to see maybe just a short-term kind of decrease uh, in basically reserves on that, excuse me, in supply. Tesla trading down still, we're at 211.62. Steel Dynamics at 112.69. The dollar still pretty strong at 103.45. Take a look, Bitcoin ETFs down significantly today, and of course, Humana down 8%. Folks, thank you so much for joining me today. I believe I'll be back with you tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see. Have a great rest of your evening, and we'll see you then.